beast perfumes. We all love them. They have their time and place and we all love to use them at some point. Whether it be an event, we're gonna be in a big space, or we wanna walk in and make sure we get attention because, you know, we're human and sometimes we like to be like that. Whew, I've got these. A beast is gonna have projection and longevity and be a super performer. I've got the best ones for you. Stay tuned for that. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Greta and I'm so happy to have you here. For those of you that are currently subscribed, thank you so much. I have the best subscriber base that could exist. I'm thoroughly convinced of this. I love you guys so much. I love your interactions. I love your feedback. I love your recommendations. I love it all. You rock. Seriously, I'm so, so grateful for you. Um, if you're not currently subscribed, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. Join the happy family. Um, we love everyone here. So yeah, so let's get into this. Uh, by the way, yes, I think it's been an absolutely insane week for me, but I think things are pretty much, cross my fingers, almost under control now. I can't even tell you how insane it's been. Like with the refrigerator breaking, which I'm so over this refrigerator, by the way. And while that happened, my mom going into hypertensive crisis with her blood pressure, 200 over 114. I don't need to tell you like how dangerous that was. Losing a contact, the housekeeper's helper who, who her new helper manages to break something every single time she comes. Like seriously, it's, it's, and then she's so terrified, like, a scared animal that she hides it. And it's not like I've ever yelled at her either. I think someone else yells at her, I don't know, but broke my makeup mirror. But on a positive note, had she not done such a terrible job in my bathroom, I would not have found my contact lens on the bath mat in front of my bathroom sink the day after they left, which I had lost it several days before. So had they not been so, she'd been so bad, I wouldn't have found it. So there is a silver lining there, right? It's like, I'm all about gratitude here. I'm grateful. But things are starting to get under control here and um, I'm feeling a little better about it. So let's get into these beasts because something about a beast is just mood altering to me and has a way of kind of capturing your attention, especially when you need it. Like when you really need a good distraction, I like either a comfort scent or a beast that just, yeah, steals the show. So let me get into these. Uh, the first one is by EBK Ruby and Vanilla. I absolutely love this. Since I first started my channel, I caught on to this. I think I was like the first Tyler, tiny, tiny channel. He actually got it like within two weeks of me, but he did feature it first and I did reference his video, Tyler simple simply fragrances absolutely love tyler to pieces such a great guy um, we were the first ones to feature them and i totally fell in love with this brand which is why i'm so blessed to have them in my store because i know a lot of you have been terrified the way they have you purchase it um, and they are in dubai and the shipping can be crazy so I am the only retailer that has them now in the United States, which makes me really happy because I do have a bond with this brand. I just love everything, except maybe not their patchouli. I'm not crazy about that one. But Ruby and Vanilla is an opulent, intense vanilla with this bitter almond in it that helps really richen and support that vanilla. The same way like almond can richen and support cherry notes, it's richening the vanilla here. It is gorgeous. It is a beast. It is going to get you compliments. Um, I saw a review already on my website where she was saying the first time she wore it, she had a couple waitresses comment how stunning this fragrance is. It is truly opulent. It was designed um, inspiration for the opera house in Paris. I can't recall the name of that opera house, but it's a very red interior and opulent, and that's why the 
gorgeous red juice. But I absolutely love the whole Ruby and Vanilla Flanker series they have. It's really my favorite. I know Yacht is the popular one, but actually this is my favorite. This and the two other flankers to this. So Ruby and Vanilla Intense. Moving on is one that was released a year ago by Boyce1920 and it is Frementi. Oh, I love this one. Yes, there is a certain similarity to Delina exclusive in the mid. However, this opens with, you know I love black currant. You know I like a huge sucker for a very juicy, berry-like, syrupy black currant, which this opens with. I love this. Then the mid goes into that sugared rose petal kind of fragrance um, like Delina Exclusive. However, unlike Delina Exclusive, which has oud in the base, this doesn't have oud, but it also has this caramel in here and the benzoin. And you know, benzoin, that really pushes this like magnetic force field kind of around you. It keeps you in a bubble and it pushes it far. I've said it in other videos. I wore this one, walked up to a table of eight rectangular and it went four people deep. Soon as I walked up, they all in chorus were complimenting me on this one and they all smelled it great and were loving it. So it is a little different, but it does have, like you have to like Delina exclusive to like this, but it is different if you're tired of that one. The longevity on this is incredible. I felt it like all night long, all evening, night, and then like through the night while I was still sleeping. This is a stunner and it'll be on your clothes the next day, but it is, yeah, a beast and a compliment getter that I absolutely love and more people need to try this one. Yeah. From Menti. Next up is a designer that I know is a beast from friends that wore it. Although I'm not so sure about the longevity on this one. And that's Lavius Bell. Now I happen to like Intense Mint a little better than Lavius Bell. I also like Iris Absolute because they have this certain powderiness to it. But I'll tell you, they are beasts coming out the gate. Gosh. Um, yeah, I'm not sure the longevity is as intense as some, no, the longevity is definitely not as intense as some of the others in this video, but it sure is strong in the beginning. This one does have this red berry kind of feel to it, along with that vanilla powdery um, white floral kind of feel to it, similar to Livia's Bell, but to me there's a certain softness of the edges to it that I prefer personally, but this one is, yeah, this one is still really good in the performance department. Um, very feminine feeling. I think most of these others are actually unisex. There's a couple that might be feminine. This one's definitely feminine, but Lavia's Bell Intense Mint to me is so delicious. I've actually come around. I hated Lavia's Bell for a while because I knew somebody that oversprayed and overwore it and I was so tired of it when it first came out. But with some of the flankers liking them better, I've actually come around to Livia Spell and I actually kind of like it now. I know it's crazy. Our tastes change, right? Where I'm like, you know, it's kind of really not too bad and probably because I really don't smell it anymore and I'm not tired of it anymore. It's been a really long time. Um, at least like 15 years since I've been subjected to that fogging in a tiny hotel room with too many of us. It was a terrible experience, but yeah. Livius Bell Intense Mint, absolutely love this. Now, this is gonna sound crazy, but I do find some similarity to Livius Bell with this one. Although it is a more niche version, a little more refined, more complex, and definitely far more beast version. And that is Passe Soir X Straight. I wore these the same time because I had received the Iris Absolute and this together and was trialing them on each arm. So I really noticed the similarities and differences in performance. This one blew it away. I, I mean, honest to God, this blew Livia Spell out of the water. It lasted two to three times longer. It was definitely more intense. Um, but if you like that, you're going to like this. And I can't say that about the original Passe Soir. I find that one to be more different, 
bit different. Whereas this one has that same berry, juicy, syrupy kind of aspect to it. The same musky kind of dry down. This one is juicy pears, which syrupy pear, if you think of like LaBelle, that is your juicy pear fragrance opening. There's a little bit of similarity to that as well. And gosh, this one is a beast. Like it is a beast. It, it really projects and lasts. Um, I found the opening and mid to really last a long time before it faded into that dry down, uh, kind of musky, sweet kind of ending to it. I got a really good eight hours out of this before it even started to falter at all. And I absolutely loved the bubble I was in. I'd be driving around and my entire car smelled fantastic. I got compliments at the bank. It was, yeah. I love this one. I love it. And definitely similar to like LaBelle and La Via Spell. Moving on. I don't think this video would be proper if I didn't <laughs> feature the queen, right? And I've actually been really good about not featuring this on my channel too much, very rarely, because it gets so much airtime. And I know that it's like it gets redundant after a while. So I have always tried to avoid featuring it. Gosh, Instagram and YouTube. I I could probably, I mean, maybe twice I feature this. Like it's really crazy how I have not featured this. But it's been said before, the EDP is more of a projector than the X straight. I personally think I like the X straight a little better because it's smoother, not quite as much of a burnt sugar like the EDP, but it's true. The EDP is gonna push. This one will fill the concert arena. It is a telltale smell. It is beautiful. There's a lot of renditions out there using the ethyl maltol in the same way for that sweet note, but the whole complexity with the little bit of medicinal aspect and the whole woodsy, airy kind of aspect, I mean, yeah, I, I never use the word masterpiece either, but it's a classic. And it fills the room. And we all know it with that sweet brown sugar aspect that just pierces through and seems to just drift like a kilometer, you know? It is good. I mean, whenever I smell this, everyone's like, okay, Baccarat Rouge is somewhere in the house. Okay, it's a concert arena. It's big. I get it. I'm not going to pinpoint them. I can't pin, I try to follow my nose and I can't figure it out. I can narrow it down to like a pack of 20 people. Like it's crazy how this drifts, but we all know and love Baccarat Rouge 540. But if there's anyone that can challenge the title with Baccarat Rouge for being the performance beast and taking the stage, it's this baby. This baby, Roca by Christian Provenzano. I'm telling you, she will knock that bee off the stage and be like, honey, I'm here now. It's good. You can go home. Yeah, this one's going to fill the room. Ooh, this is so good. <laughs> this is more, I get more like a berry caramel with that same sweet performance while the sweetness is different man this is good okay it's do this one just gets better and better it did have to travel from dubai and usually that jostles my fragrances because that's literally the other side of the world for me but man i'll tell you the technology in here this is coming up but it's the same technology used here to make a citrus last for 36 hours this one lasted until I took another shower and it was like, I tried to see, okay, I try, but I like to shower every 24 hours. But this one, man, it was so strong from morning, noon, evening, night, overnight while I was sleeping, even in the morning, it was still a beast, like un unreal. But it's more of this raspberry caramel and a citrus. There's this orange citrus in here along with that caramel. Oh, and it's a rose in the center. I think it's jasmine in Baccarat Rouge, but man, in this rose, but the same kind of beast that will take over a room the way Baccarat Rouge will perform 
this one will outdo it. I'm telling you, it is incredible. And you do not need much of this. Definitely do not need much. I think I put three sprays on one forearm to test it and it was there for over 24 hours and I, it was like not going away. Like this is a commitment. Unless you're ready to commit to this baby, don't spray it. It's, you gotta be ready. You can't be like, oh, I think I'll try this for a little bit and then I'll switch to something else tonight. No, you won't have a choice. She's, she's latching on to you for the day once you commit to this baby. But yeah, this is so worth your money because you don't even need to spray very much. And I love the new packaging here with these emerald green bottles, uh, the Swarovski crystal caps. I think this is so elegant. There are others in this collection that I like a lot too that I'll feature down the road. I'll get them and I'll feature them too. I have right now decants of them in a sample set, in a discovery set from them. I'm loving what Christian Provenzano and Sala did here. Absolutely incredible. And since I, I went there already, yeah, vibrato. Vibrato is a citrus ginger. I think it's bergamot and ginger. Ooh, in this fog kind of a performance, this like musky fog, Citruses typically evaporate very quickly and it's evaporation that you smell and citruses are the lightest molecule so they really are like a flash in the pan and that's why they're just a quick top note. They created some technology that makes these citruses last. I don't know what they did but it's incredible. I love this because it's a beast performer but it has a fresh scent. It is unisex Teeter's slightly masculine, but I really enjoy it. And there's something about when I travel, because I feel gross when I travel, right? Like if I'm in planes and trains and airports, I just feel gross. And you go through time changes and all these hours of traveling that I tend to like fresh scents because it makes me feel clean, right? I want a clean smell. I definitely don't want gourmand when I'm having to go a long time. It just feels gross to me. I like clean. And this is one that, man, is bergamot, grapefruit, and ginger in here. And man, it's in this powdery musk. So you get this like powdery fog storm around you that just really projects, leaves a sillage, incredible performer, will get you 24 to 36 hours, Personally, again, I like to shower every 24 hours, so it's hard for me to see that end point. I mean, I'm all about experimenting to a degree, but yeah, Vibrato by Suspiro is killer. I, I love this one. Yeah, so this one launched 2021, and Bond number nine, the store in New York City, sent me a sample of it, and wow, just that little sample spraying on my hand overwhelmed the room, overwhelmed me in the most pleasant way because it opens with black currant and pear, which are two juicy, syrupy, fruity fragrances that are very voluptuous in how they just boom in the room. And I think that's why I really like them. Oof. And then it has a base of oud. I think this is in rose too. And it really just gives this volume to this fragrance and this performance. Like everything is just layers and layers of performers. Um, did I say the name? Bond number nine, Nomad. I had wanted this. I finally got it. I saw it for a good price and I got it. I think a lot of people know it by now. But for me, this was one I definitely wanted because I love pear and black currant and then a rose oud to me. It's just a classic combination that I tend to really like. I never thought I liked rose because I'm not a floral, I never thought I was a floral kind of girl. And I've said it before, I'm more of a fruity floral or a floral with texture like powderiness, muskiness, something like that. But Rose Oud is something I've really come to enjoy as a combination. I've seen it done a lot of different ways, but it is a combination I tend to really enjoy. Um, and I like the way they did this here because it does have the black currant and the pear in there also. Um, imagine, gosh, imagine Oud Bouquet and LaBelle had a baby, uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, LaBelle, like 
they had a baby kind of. It's kind of like that. And it's definitely a beast of a performer. So Nomad, absolutely love it. Another creation by Christian Provenzano and Sala. Um, the one that really stole my attention and really started focusing on them as perfumers and some of their other creations is, you know, my beloved, my heart and soul, which is Salas Amore Torito. Nua by Raja Perfums was always my like heart and soul till this one came on. Nua is still the first love of my life. She will always have a place. This one is more affordable, a lot more affordable, like a quarter of the price affordable. Yeah, but Amore Torito, like especially living in San Diego, there's a certain tropical feel to it, but it is this sweet and tart kind of grape and apricot. with the apple and citrus and it gives this like sweet and juicy and tart kind of feel along with this coconut that comes through there that gives a certain tropical-esque kind of feel. It's the coconut. Even though it's not your cliche tropical fragrance and there's something about this one that I get compliments when people are standing pretty far from me that I never really get close to and I'm talking to them in the same room and they will be like, I know you're always wearing great perfume, but what are you wearing today? Because whatever you're wearing is really good. It's enough for people that see me regularly and kind of know already that, yeah, I always have something cool on. They're like, yeah, whatever that one is, is particularly special. This one gets people. It gets them. It is delicious, this one. It is sexy. There's something, I don't know what juju he put in here. I'm wondering if it's like an overdose of hedione. Is there jasmine in here? No, there's not even jasmine listed. Lily of the Valley Violet. So I don't know what he did, but he did say he did something in here to make it extra alluring, kind of. Um, something sensual about it that like triggers the brain and there's science on that there are scientific papers that um, say hedione overdose of hedione triggers the brain receptors to say I like this I like this a lot I want more of this so there's definitely truth to that in how some of these notes are perceived in the brain and he definitely did something in this because this one gets crazy compliments in a very like wild kind of way that it just like the horns come out, I'm telling you, it's crazy. But yeah, Amore Torito, definitely something to get your nose on and for spring and summer is a no brainer. This one just, it just it's magnetic, this one. Okay, this last one I am still playing with. I really wanted to put it in this video. I'm still playing with it and trying to truly decipher it. I've worn it a few times and I'm just like, I can't wrap my head around this one. I'm still, I, I, where are you? You're over here too. I got the new Tomovici Ange Noir. Now I want to give you a really good review on this. I don't want to give you bad information. I always like to give you good information. Um, but I feel like I've had a different experience with it. I swear yesterday it was drying down and I got like a subtle smoky kind of feel from it. There is cedar in the base, but I, I I'm struggling. I'm going to feature this in another video where I can really get a good experience with it. It is sexy. I love it. I can't figure out the longevity on it. It definitely goes through three stages. Yeah, green apple. It opens with green apple. And I get the green apple for a decent amount of time in the top. Kind of tea, like going into that mid just a little bit. It's wild, but the violet gives this almost like... I got a little bit of a praline kind of touch which doesn't make sense it's not even in the notes but I got this like praline rose kind of feeling from it and then like I said one time when I wore it I got this smokiness in the base and I almost reached out to them to be like is there something in there that's smoky or am I crazy I don't know but since I got different experiences and on my hand and on paper were different and I'm still playing with this one so I'm gonna get back to you on it. It is a love, I'll tell you that much. It's a love. Okay, I'm back because 
I really needed to wear this one more time. This one has been driving me nuts trying to figure it out. I mean, I think I've worn it five times. I've, I've even talked to Tomovici, like scratching my head on this one because it's been wild trying to describe it. Now, I know Tomovici is number one beasts and number two, they're never linear. It's always stages. So I knew to pay close attention, only wear this, although I didn't do that the first couple times. I was wearing two fragrances on either side, which usually, usually isn't an issue, but I was getting confused, like wondering, like I was second guessing myself. So I wore it another few times on its own and took a lot of notes and asked a lot of other people. So, and don't even go by the notes because it's gonna mislead you, but I'll tell you, when I first sprayed it, I was just mind blown. Like, yes, this is stunning. But let me explain it, that's the hard part. So in the first few minutes, you do get that green apple. And honestly, even the strip isn't as good as on my skin. I get the green apple, which kind of just turns fruity to me. Then I start to get this creaminess and it mixes to a fruity creaminess. And then the fruitiness takes a back seat and I'm left with this kind of warm hug of creaminess. And it's a very sensual, enveloping kind of hug. And then this is where it gets crazy because if I smell my skin, I then, it kind of goes back and forth between a fruity freshness. There's a certain freshness and airiness to it. And that fruity creaminess with this swirl of smokiness in the air. And it's really weird because I keep looking around like, is that me? Like that, that's not me, is it? Like I smell smokiness and I'll be the only person in the car. And I'm like, okay, I know it's me. Like this is me. Yet if I smell my skin, I don't get smokiness. Then 20 minutes later, I will get smokiness, maybe on one arm, not the other arm. It was driving me insane. I'm not gonna lie. Like I had a hard time wrapping my head around this one. I went into the UPS store and I'm like, okay, I was on the phone with a friend that I tried and I'm like, I know those guys will always tell me they're amazing. I'm always in there with a perfume asking for their feedback and it happened to be packed. So I was really stoked. So I'm in there and there's a line of people. When I get to the counter, I know the guys because I'm there at least once a day. <laughs> and I said, hey, can you smell my perfume? He goes, yeah. I said, great, all right, that's a good distance. Three, four feet, that's a good start. Because I wasn't sure on projection either. And then I said, okay, are you getting sweet or smoky? And he's like, oh, smoky. A guy all the way on the other side of the store, I just happened to look around to see who else was paying attention, because sometimes I talk loud. And he just like perked up and was like, oh yeah, I smell your perfume. And I was like, wow, you're like eight feet away from me. And I said, what do you get, sweet or smoky? He's like, smoky, there's like a smokiness. I'm like, smoky. But if you smell me close up, you don't get smoky. And I am like the only one in the reviews getting smoky. So take that as you will, because I don't understand but I am happy to say that the entire UPS store smelled me. And all I did was a couple sprays on each forearm. I am not as big a sprayer when I'm testing something because I wanna know what's the performance of the perfume versus the performance of me over spraying because there's a difference. I wanna know if it's a skin scent, like I'm not just over sprayed and that's why everyone around me can smell my perfume. There's a difference. So. This one was definitely a performer with several sprays. Like, I'm gonna say three on each arm. I mean, yeah, so like six sprays, which is pretty moderate. And all in that same spot. So it is incredible. And it is meant to go from fresh, cozy to noir, to this darkness, right? Like that, is it Dark Angel, Anjé Noir? Regardless, but it was meant to go into the darkness of the night and it definitely does that. It definitely goes very quickly from, from that fruity, fresh to creamy, hug-like kind of fragrance. And you definitely get that bubble to this weird smokiness somewhere in the air that is really good. I have to admit, I love this one. 
Um, it's not as smoky as Imperium with the Bacor stream in it. I feel like that one has a more pronounced smokiness to it. This one is very elusive, if you can't figure that out. Very, very elusive. So I've gone on for a long time here, but I, I feel like it really needed this extra dialogue to try and explain this perfume because it, it had me like pulling my hair out for a few days trying to wrap my head around it. And I always want to make sure that I have an absolutely complete review for you. I don't want to just have like a first sniff and try and explain something to you, especially when I know it's staged. But this one is definitely one you got to try. Um, and he's also upped his packaging, but in, this, in the interest of saving time, I didn't go over the packaging. But I feel like every release has gotten better, and I'm really liking that. Um, he's got good stuff. Yeah, this one is so good. Those are some of my absolute favorite beast fragrances. When I really want to make a statement, those are the ones I'm going to turn to. They are the ones that are going to command the room, put the spotlight on me, and get all that attention no matter how big of a space I am in. I'm going to be the queen. So those are the ones I'll turn to. They are definitely not for intimate experiences. You'll blow the person out. They're going to keep their distance when you want to reel them in. And if you want to reel them in, you don't want to scream in his ear, right? You want him to get closer because he can't quite hear you. That's what you want. He can't quite smell you and needs to get a little closer, right? So you don't want to wear a beast if you're going on a date or going to be in um, a more intimate type of experience. You don't want to be yelling. Let me know down below which ones you love, some other ones that you think are fantastic. And don't forget to hit a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.